Hello, I'm Eric Lenlard and this is a very special Baking Mad Monday because yes, we are ready to celebrate Christmas and I got something really special for you up my sleeve. So it's a clementine and pomegranate cake and as well as a bonus, it's gluten and lactose free. So first of all, I'm going to bake some clementines and to make your life easier, and I certainly did, buy some seedless clementines so you won't have to pick up the pips later on. And I'm just going to cover the fruit completely with the water and I'm going to add another great Christmas spice two cinnamon sticks so just put them on a gentle heat an hour and a half and they will be perfect so my clementine have been boiling away for an hour and a half and I'm just going to place the whole fruit into the blender including the skin and I'm going to keep that aside and I'm going to start to work on my cake batter. I've got some muscovado sugar. I'm going to add to it six eggs. I'm going to whisk those two ingredients together onto a pan of simmering water. So time to add all the rest of our ingredients. So first of all, I've got some nice ground almond. Just fold it nicely, trying to keep all the fluffiness of our mixture. And I'm going to add some plain flour. And to help our cake to rise nicely, one teaspoon of gluten-free baking powder. Now time to add our clementine puree. So spring form, slightly greased, and lined with a piece of baking paper. Okay, so this is ready to go in our preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius. And it should take around 15 minutes, up to one hour to cook. I'm going to get the pomegranate syrup ready. Best way to juice pomegranate and to collect all this gorgeous little seed using the back of a ladle. Just whack the fruit and the seed will come out. So I've got all my beautiful pomegranate seed, which I'm going to keep for the decorations. And the juice now go into the pan with a little bit of golden caster sugar. So the sugar is completely dissolved and off the heat, I'm going to add some vanilla bean paste, nice and sweet. And I'm going to add as well a couple of teaspoons of orange blossom water. Just going to stir it together and I'm just going to take it to the stove for just a few minutes just to dissolve the sugar. I don't want to reduce the syrup too much or it will be too thick and it won't go into the cake. So time to decorate our cake, our very festive cakes. So, the final product here, you can see, I've turned the cake around, which gives me a nice flat surface, much easier to decorate, and I'm just going to pour it all over the cake, gently. Just leave it to drizzle. And just finally cover the top with this beautiful seed. Final touch. To make it even more Christmassy, a light dusting of icing sugar. And here we are, a great alternative to a traditional Christmas cake, which will get a big wow factor from your family and friends. This is my clementine and pomegranate Christmas cake. You have to admit, it look pretty fabulous. If you want more baking recipe, stay still and subscribe because I'm coming up with plenty more ideas to make your Christmas even more special and even more delicious. And see you next Monday for another Baking Mad Monday.